Yo guys, my name is Zopreme, and in today's video, I'll be talking about the Flash Season 5 Elseworlds crossover, and does Flash vanish in Crisis before 2024, and do the Red Skies appear before 2024? In the 2024 newspaper, it says that the Red Skies vanish, and with it, so does Barry Allen. Now, this is referenced and teased in the Flash Elseworlds crossover with Red Skies and Yellow Lightning over Star Labs. Now this is a big teaser for Crisis on Infinite Earths. In the Flash, they have gone back to the 2024 newspaper several times and it seems like this crossover will set up the next crossover for Crisis on Infinite Earths, it does seem. To summarise what happened on Crisis on Infinite Earths, it was basically a massive event in the DC Comics history where there was a destruction of countless parallel universes and also there was the destruction of most of the worlds of the multiverse, leaving just five worlds left protected by the Monitor, the good equivalent of the Anti-Monitor, and Anti-Monitor basically was the one who was destroying these worlds. The Red Skies appearing is a teaser to the start of Crisis on Infinite Earths and in 2024, the skies vanishing signalled the end, and as we know, Barry vanishes as well. Barry may actually disappear before 2024, as Nora has changed her timeline multiple times, and she's associated to the Reverse Flash in 2049, and as we know, Earbod is linked to the 2024 event. Reverse Flash may be trying to make Barry disappear in the 2024 event earlier because as we know he's in the Elseworlds crossover even though we have seen him already in last episode of The Flash which leads me to think that this version in the Elseworlds is actually Crisis on Earth X Reverse Flash from Earth X or it could just be an earlier version of Earbod Thorn as it is definitely not 2049 Earbod Thorn because he's got grey hair in 2049 and this one that we've seen in the trailer has black hair so it's a younger version in some way or another. The main reason I think Barry will disappear earlier is because the writer of The Flash may not want to wait until season 10 to show what happens in 2024. As we don't know, The Flash may not last that long and also it is something they've talked about since season 1. So I'm sure they want to wrap it up, you know, in a few seasons, definitely not in 5 seasons. There are other storylines like the 2049 news article and also 2056 message. So if they wrap this up then they can go on to the next article, the next future newspaper. Also, as Nora from the future, way past the 2024 event, is here, I'm sure they're going to wrap this up sooner rather than later, and also, Earbod Thorn from 2049 has been introduced. The Flash may actually disappear in the next crossover, so before 2024 I imagine, if maybe they want to save it till then, but if not, he'll probably disappear in the next crossover next year, only for a bit, and also it'll probably be like 2019 or 2020 when he does disappear. And how they can explain that is Nora changing the timeline, and also maybe link it to Reverse Flash, so that the newspaper changes, so maybe it's changed again, or will change, so he disappears in 2020 but returns in 2024 or maybe he returns even earlier than that. I imagine that the reason for the Red Skies appearing this early is because they want to do a version of Crisis on Infinite Earths earlier and the thing that they talked about in season 1 with 2024 and the newspaper was just something that they just did right there but they want to bring it earlier to 2020. So the Red Skies are basically trying to indicate that Crisis on Infinite Earths will happen soon and probably involve the whole of the Arrowverse to stop Anti-Monitor. So yeah guys, tell in the comments below, do you think that Crisis on Infinite Earths is going to happen earlier, so Barry disappears before 2024? And yeah guys, I did hope you liked this video. My name is Zopreme, you guys have been the best, as always, peace out.